And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. Our pressure remaining in place, giving us clear skies, gentle winds, and lots of sunshine. And today, we're expecting, just like yesterday, to, uh, our wind speeds to be between three and nine miles per hour again today. So no threats from winds. Snake River Plain today, temperatures will be in the 50s and 60s. 60s will be Pocatello at 63 and American Falls at 60. Idaho Falls has a high of 58. For the Southeast Highlands, we've got 50s and 60s as well. 60s for Preston and Downey and 50s and 60s for the Central Mountains too. Chalice and Salmon in the 60s. And then for the Eastern Highlands, we've got 40s and 50s. Compared to yesterday, Driggs has dropped out of the 50s and now has a high of 49 for today. Wind chills will be in the 40s since temperatures will be below 50 degrees. For the overnight hours, Snake River Plain, Pocatello is going to continue to not go below freezing for a second day in a row with a low temperature of 35. And Idaho Falls will get below freezing at 31 degrees along with Blackfoot. American Falls, a low temperature of 36. Southeast Highland We've got wind chills in the 20s and 30s with temperatures in the 20s and 30s. And for the Central Mountains, wind chills in the teens and 20s with temperatures in the 20s and 30s. For the Eastern Highlands, colder temperatures. All of these locations are going to be below freezing. The coldest, Yellowstone at 20 degrees. And then the least coldest will be Du Bois at 28 degrees. So all below freezing. Come tomorrow, things will change a little bit later in the day for for the higher elevations, Southeast Highlands temperatures will be in the 50s and 60s again. For the higher elevations, later in the nighttime, there is a chance of some isolated locations to receive some rain showers. This is due to a small ripple of low pressure moving over Idaho just for Wednesday evening. This is not related to a bigger event that's heading our way for the weekend, giving us snow and rain. Now let's take a look at the Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer 7-day forecast. Pocatello, spring, happy spring. Spring starts today. And spring, this is our warmest week of this calendar year. And Thursday will be warm, 64 degrees for Pocatello. And then for Blackfoot today, a high of 58, warming up to 62 on Thursday. And then it's downhill from there. Now, when the weekend arrives, especially on Friday, especially on Friday into Saturday, and then widespread widespread all locations on Sunday, we do have low pressure affecting eastern Idaho, moving over eastern Idaho. Central mountains today, a high of 60 degrees, staying in the 50s for the majority of the part, and then dropping to 47 on Sunday. Saturday, low pressure moves over the area. A cold front will have colder temperatures behind it, colder air mass behind it. So therefore, especially on Sunday, a lot of locations are going to receive some snowfall, not just a rain snow mix, but a snowfall. Colder temperatures for Yellowstone, as usual, can't expect light snow for a majority of these days after high pressure stops dominating East Idaho. Back to you, Dan. All right.